everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I'm bringing you another dessert recipe, hopefully from the picture that I put out there. You are super excited because I'm telling you the first time I made these, delicious. I wish I'd have just filmed them the first time, but then again, it gave me an excuse to go ahead and make another batch. So today's recipe, again, Drizzle Me Skinny. Ugh, love, love, love her recipes. And this one calls for just a few ingredients. And as you can see behind me, our star Kodiak cakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn you around. We're gonna throw this recipe together and get it in the oven. I've got the oven preheating right now at 350. So that's the first thing you need to do. Preheat your oven to 350 and then gather your ingredients so you're ready to go. Okay, I think I have all the ingredients and all the measuring utensils that we need. So let's go ahead and get this started. The first thing that we need is the Kodiak cakes. Try to give you a clear view. This is the one that I'm using. It's the protein packed, just regular buttermilk flavored Kodiak cakes. So we're gonna need one and a half cups of that. And the container that you see behind me is the one that I get from Costco. And it contains like three of the normal boxes. So it's kind of cool that they have it there and I could save a little extra money by grabbing it while I'm there. I really don't save money. I mean, let's be honest, every time I go to Costco, it's like $200. So I definitely don't save money, but I save money on this item. Does that, 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 maybe that's a little better. All right, so it says the first thing we want to do is in a bowl whisk our eggs and add in our brown sugar. Beans, how I was jumping the gun and not reading the directions. We already have this pre measured and ready to go. So let's go ahead and get our eggs cracked. And we're going to grab a whisk. Okay, I just went ahead and grabbed a whisk and a fork because we're going to need those both. So two eggs, and again, I will link that recipe below for you so that you can make this for yourself. It's calling for two tablespoons of brown sugar. That's one. And there's two. And I keep this little jar of brown sugar because sometimes I just need a little bit and it's easier that I don't have to keep opening the bag. And it keeps it a little fresher, a little longer and doesn't get as hard in the bag. Um, let me know if there's a trick. Do you have a trick for storing your brown sugar? That's the only trick that I know of and it works out pretty well for me, but I'm sure there's got to be a, another solution. Next, it says to mix in the applesauce, milk, and vanilla. So for the applesauce, I just have some Walmart brand, a great value brand, unsweetened applesauce. And it's calling for two thirds of a cup of applesauce. So I'm just gonna pour in two thirds of a cup here. Stir that in real quick. Very typical for me, I think. It's just if I wasn't making a mess, I wouldn't be baking or cooking or anything else. All right, so we have our applesauce. We have to put in our milk, and it calls for skim milk. A half a cup of that. And then our vanilla, which is one teaspoon of vanilla. Seems like my ice maker always wants to fill right when I'm filming. 
So you guys probably always hear that on my video. You probably don't notice it, but I notice it. Sometimes I can stop what I'm doing and cut it out. Sometimes I can't. Today, not the opportune time. All right, so we have it in there. Then it says to stir in the Kodiak cake mix and the baking powder. So the baking powder that we need, we have one and a half cups of the Kodiak mix in here, and it calls for one teaspoon of baking powder. So I'm gonna put in just a heaping teaspoon of that. All right, so let's get this mixed up together. Get some of our stuff out of the way. All right, I'm just gonna give that a quick stir. Make sure it's still in the camera, it is. Then we're gonna pour our liquids in. There we go. And we're going to give this a stir. I always like to use a clear bowl anytime I'm mixing because then I can look underneath and see if I have it mixed together. And that keeps you from overfeeding the mixture too. Okay, so here comes the fun part. It also calls for one third cup of sprinkles. I picked up these sprinkles at Kroger and I grabbed two because they were on sale. And since I've already previously made this recipe, I already know it's good. I know I'm gonna be making it again. So why not buy the sprinkles when they're on sale? And this is why I get in trouble as well. If you've seen my video from earlier this week and I'll link that below that I have way too much food. This is why, because when they have a sale, I typically will buy some extra of things that I probably could have done without. All right, so I'm just gonna put another container out here because I'm going to need that. So it calls for one third cup of sprinkles. I'll try to not overfill this. Don't wanna overfill it, but I don't wanna underfill it either. All right, so I'm gonna dump some of these in and I'll tell you why in just a second. I need to dig out one tablespoon of the sprinkles. So I'm gonna dump the rest of those in there. Guess I could have just dumped them back in there. All right, so we have one tablespoon of sprinkles to save for later so we can put them on top of our muffins. So you just want to gently stir these in Make sure to get it all the way to the bottom without over stirring and I think that's good. All right, so I'm going to next grab my muffin tin. Now, first I'm going to get something to wipe off this counter because it's gonna drive me insane. that done. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our muffin tin. Still got a little water on it. All right, so we're just going to spray our muffin tin. <laughs> Tell me you guys do it this way too. You spray each individual one. I don't know if it makes a difference if there's a right or a wrong way. I have no idea. All right, so I'm going to take a one quarter, one quarter cup measuring cup and just start to fill these. I can't remember which one I used last time, but I think it was a quarter. We'll see how it goes. I always find it easier to fill them this way and it goes faster. And when you're getting ready to bake something super yummy, faster is always better. Well, it is for me anyway. Faster is better. All right, almost done. Now, I'm not sure if this is a new recipe for her, but let me know in the comments if you've made this before. I had just seen this. Someone posted a picture on Instagram. It may have been her. It may have been someone else. But I had just seen it on Instagram. And I'll grab a little bit from this one. And I was like, oh, those look delicious. So I definitely wanted to try them out for myself. 
Now when I first tried these, I don't know what I was expecting, but what I got, phenomenal. So good. All right, so here comes the fun part. Not the wiping of the pan, but to put the extra sprinkles on. All right, I'm going to bring you in just a little bit more. Oops. Okay, that looks a little bit better. <laughs> As I was moving the, the tripod, I had this in my hand. I almost spilt these all over my floor. That would have been just perfect for, for how I do things. All right, we'll start this way and we'll just flip the pan. Just a few on each. Now, if you choose to use some paper liners, you can do that too. I just, the last time I made them, I did not need the paper liners. Plus, I just got this new, this new muffin tin that doesn't seem to stick. So, I'm probably jinxing myself right now, aren't I? Please don't stick. All right, you can see these go quite a ways. I mean, you wouldn't think they would. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get these into a 350 degree oven. They're going to bake for 18 minutes. And once that 18 minutes is up, I will show you our final product. Are you excited? You should be excited because these are so good. I mean, really, really, really good. Okay, our timer just went off and I just took a peek, but I'm gonna show you a peek now. Hold on and check this out. Don't those look amazing? Check them out. All right, I'm gonna pull them out so we can get a better look, but I just wanted to show you all oh, these ones turned out better than my last batch. Hold on. Okay, that is going to be our final look. Again, 18 minutes in the oven. My kitchen smells amazing. And I don't know if I mentioned the best part, but per the recipe, these are only two smart points each. I mean, you cannot go wrong with two smart points. And I'm telling you, the last time I ate these, it didn't need frosting. I mean, you would think it'd be kind of like a cupcake, but these are totally a, a muffin texture and no frosting needed. I'm sure if you wanted to throw frosting on it and add the extra points, you could, but totally not needed. All right, so I am going to sign off from here and tell you to go buy some stuff and make these. I mean, totally make these. All right, again, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like this video and comment below if you have any questions or if you just wanna make a comment, just a general comment. I love to read your comments every day. All right, so have a great day. See you next time, bye.